It's about 9 p.m. I have a hair mask in and I just could not wait to show you guys what I got over the past few months at the thrift store. I have some incredible finds and I can't wait to show you. And I'm about to transition a lot of things out of my wardrobe. So these things will be going in to replace those things. And that will be coming in a closet cleanup video in the next couple of weeks or so. So tune in for that. But otherwise, let's just get into it because these are so good. We are going to start off strong right out the gate with my favorite piece that I, I think I've ever owned. This House of Sunny, like fuzzy cardigan yes i know this is not summer this is not spring but i've had my eye on this um particular cardigan and like i, I just love the drama of it i've had my eye on this for like i don't even know how long and i found it on depop for like half the price of what it was when it first came out it wasn't necessarily super cheap um but I, it's something that i know i'm going to have in my wardrobe for literally ever I'm never getting rid of this. It is so cool. It's giving, it, like things like this remind me of The Nanny, which is a huge style icon for me, Fran Drescher. She, oh, her clothes and her the way that she put things together and the way that she styled things is just like phenomenal. I'm literally, I can't. So this is the first thing, so cute. I think this was about $70. So not like the cheapest thing ever, like I said, but um, again, I'm investing in my wardrobe for a long time. And a little tip is to look for like non-seasonal items from the thrift store, like shop for winter clothes in spring and summer and shop for um, summer clothes in spring and winter if you can, because sometimes they're a little bit cheaper. So there's the first item. I'm already like I you can tell I freaking love cheetah print it's literally my favorite so starting off with another strong one again this is a reformation cute like insanely cute pleasant peasant peasant blouse top um it's got Victorian vibes written all over it you can see there it's a hundred percent organic cotton um this one I didn't find at a thrift store per se I at my work, I there's a warehouse below us and they were having this like annual like sale where they get donations from a bunch of um, companies that just give away clothes, decent stores to sell for cheaper to raise money for a certain charity that they were doing. And I just happened to come across this and I got this for $5, $5. Um, if you know anything about Reformation, you know that they're usually quite expensive. So to find something like that for $5 is kind of insane. And I'm so excited to style this. It's so cute. It's obviously very see-through for summer, but you know, I can put a cute little bralette under it or something like that, or put a vest over it. I, there's many ways to style this, which I will be styling of course as well. So this was one of my favorite finds. From that same warehouse sale, I found this cute little puff sleeve top with this keyhole detail in it. I thought it was very cute. It was kind of 70s to me because of this detailing here. I don't usually go for puff sleeve tops because I kind of feel like they make my shoulders look wider, but honestly, I have just been loving this white linen or white cotton rather feeling of shirts and I wanted to try something different. And this was also only $5, so I am very much, like, happy with this find. And it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I think that I could style this really nicely. And it's perfect for summer because it's so light, and these sh and the sleeves can, like, kind of come off the shoulders a little bit. So I'm, like, super excited to style this as well. Next item is this cute little poncho. I have been seeing ponchos all over the place and I never used to like ponchos because I just always associated them with like being a granny but honestly grannies have style like you can't even you can't even lie about that like grannies do they are so classy it's like wearing a blanket on your shoulders it's perfect piece for transition piece for spring into summer like if you're just cold you just put this on and then you're like wearing a little blanket like you're out like on the water 
in a restaurant and you just feel cold so you you but it's like a stylish blanket you know what I mean so yeah that was so cute and the tag I'm a sucker for like tags like I literally will buy something just for the tag sometimes which is not good but look at this it's just I don't know if that's vintage per se but I just really liked it so it's really cute it kind of comes off the shoulders a little bit it's got a little bit of a scalloped hem and it's like a knit material so that is adorable okay next we have the fairy core vibes for sure this gorgeous brown shirt so flowy the top the neckline is very flattering i don't know if you can see it there you go the lighting is a little bit better it's ruched um it's american city wear these were all the rage when i was like in middle school and high school so this is a, such a cute little find I'm trying to get back to my uh, my roots, my early 2000s root. I've also been very into the uh, 70s aesthetic, but I've always been into the 70s aesthetic. Honestly, most of my clothes, I think, fall in that category. Um, I'm not someone who, like, stays in an aesthetic. Like, I love so many different kinds of looks that I honestly buy pieces from all types of looks, but... I'm trying to figure out how to put them together. And 70s aesthetic just looks, I think, the best on me so far. It's flowy, it's fun, it's bright, it's neutral. It's so many amazing things. And I have just been watching Daisy, I just recently watched Daisy Jones and the Six. And that show was incredible. And it just reignited my passion for 70s fashion. So I have been keeping that in the back of my mind and I found this cute little silk psychedelic type poncho again, which again, like this is for sure a summer piece, but it's got this little v-neck in the front. It's Talbot's, which I am surprised about, but it's 100% silk, which is great. And it's just so cute to go over like anything that you have. Um, and just adds a little vibe. It's not going to make you too hot in the summer because it's 100% silk, so it's breathable. It's the perfect little piece to just add a little bit of flair to your outfit. So I cannot wait to style this with some like bell-bottom type jeans that I have. And I'm looking forward to that. Okay, this one is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I just love it again for the tag and just because... It's kind of like hippy dippy ish and I do love a good hippy dippy outfit shirt whatever you want to call it and look at the tag on this it's like a little <laughs> I don't know what you collections I don't know what brand that is but it's just this silly little hummingbird graphic shirt but I just think like the graphics on it are so cool it's kind of like it's like almost street stylish I can't explain it I just love it and the color it's so nice it's like a what is this it's a hundred percent cotton as well so it's gonna breathe great in the summer I'm gonna style this with like a super hippie outfit and I cannot wait look it's just got little hummingbirds on it and it's got a little bit of sparkle to it it's like kind of gaudy in like the best way, in like an earthy, crunchy way. Like, I don't know, what are what are the other words on here? Orchid, ruby-throated hummingbird, winged jewel, just adorable, love. Next one I got from Depop again. This one was about $35, I believe. It's this 100% genuine leather Wilson's kind of corset top. It's not like a corset in the sense that it actually like sucks you in or anything like that, but it is super flattering. The only thing is, is these straps are a little bit wide on my body and I have like, I swear I have like a linebacker <laughs> uh, back muscle going on because um, it was kind of digging into my shoulder blades a little bit, but um, when I put a shirt under this and layered it, that problem went away, so that was an issue. So I will just have to layer this, but I think it's so adorable. Um, 
and so flattering with like that V shape at the bottom. I've always loved this kind of style. It's a little bit hippie. It's a little bit Renaissance fair. It's a little bit fairy. All the all the best things, honestly. Um, so and it's black, so it goes with mostly anything. Okay, next we have this chocolate brown blazer. It is so cute. It fits perfectly. Um, it is BCBG by Max Mara. I have so much of this brown color in my wardrobe and I just want to be able to coordinate it with something like structured like this. It's absolutely like stunning. I just, well, I don't know if stunning is the right word, but like the, this brown color has a chokehold on me. Like by the end of the year, my entire wardrobe is just going to be brown. Like it's just going to be this rich chocolate brown. This is a basic one, but I absolutely love mock neck t-shirts. I think they're so chic and they kind of, another aesthetic that I really enjoy is the old money or preppy aesthetic. So this would go with so much of the um, other things that I have already. And there is a find in this, um, in this thrift haul and it's like the most quintessential, um, academia prep skirt aesthetic that can even be considered maybe even 70s at some point like it is just the perfect skirt and I can't wait to show you guys later so keep watching for that but this is just a plain you know tan shirt but I again it's just like the subtlest little details can make such a difference on how posh or how put together you look I love this. It's a very, again, another basic a little bit, but um, it's got these this blue and brown pinstriping in it, which I, those are two of the biggest colors I have in my wardrobe. And it's kind of a little bit more slim fitting so I can put it under more things rather than a very big oversized button down. Um, it's also, it looks like a little bit of a vintage Wrangler brand so I'm pretty stoked to find that and it's 100% cotton which I'm surprised about because the material is kind of interesting on this so so cute though love this is the perfect summer piece um American Eagle as well American Eagle is one of my favorite brands it was literally my first job so I like American Eagle I always have a special place in my heart I've always liked their styles for the most part and they have pretty quality stuff that's really comfortable. And so I found this and I just knew I had to get it. It's just this V-neck hooded, um, really kind of heavyweight knitted material sweatshirt. And um, I just have, I mean, this is perfect for summer. It's just a very simple basic, but it can go with anything. You're down at the beach, you know, everything is at the beach, I guess. But um, so I just love, something like this because this with a pair of jeans and some really nice sandals it's just game over it's a great piece especially when you pair it with a belt and some necklaces it will look amazing so this next one i was so stoked to find it was a abercrombie and fitch um, linen dress and it was completely new with tags and i just love it it's cinched at the waist it's very it's giving very like New York Hamptons like that's what I think was thinking when I got it and this with a very cute belt and just like the right makeup and hair and shoes can be so put together it obviously I just washed it it does need to be um, ironed this one was a little bit pricey at $20 because it's Abercrombie and Fitch and new with tags so you can understand that and I'm it was perfect condition and then I washed it and it got um unfortunately a little blue stain I don't know can you see this so somehow I don't know if it was the color of the detergent or something like that because the detergent is this color blue and I only washed this with white so I don't know why that happened but um it should be easy to get out I'm sure I'm just gonna wash it again once more and see but it's so easy it's so flowy it's a perfect summer staple piece and I'm so excited for this one Okay, now on to bottoms. Um, we found, we found, I found, 
<laughs> I mean, you guys are practically coming along with me at this point. Um, a white, cute little tennis skirt. Um, well, actually, it's not really a tennis skirt. It's a skirt, but it looks like a tennis skirt, which I love that look because, I, again, I love the prep vibe. And I'm very into, like, whites right now because it's, like, such a... I don't know, maybe it's the summer and it's a light material usually. This is mostly cotton with a little bit of spandex in it. And I believe this was about, it was not that much. It was about, I want to say $5. I had, I've watched this one already, but it is just a fast fashion brand. It's OMG Collection. I don't even know what that brand is. They are a little bit see-through, which I knew that buying it because I did the, um, the test where if you put your hand through and see if it, and see if you can see your hand in the daylight or in the light of the thrift store. And I did that and you can, and even holding it up, I can see through it. Um, but it's not so see-through that I can't wear just a pair of nude underwear and you won't be able to see it. So I thought this was an amazing find. It's got the shorts in the back, but the cute little tie in the front, simple, but adorable. Again with the white, I found these amazing white gap shorts, but I just thought these were so cute. Classic white pair of shorts. They are also just the tiniest bit see-through, but um, again, nothing that a new colored underwear, underwear wouldn't fix. I just couldn't pass these up. They're my size. I love the pocket details on the front. It's so chic. Um, yeah, these were a slam dunk for me. That was cringe, I'm sorry. Um, I found these August silk, almost like gaucho type pants. And I just liked them because they were very like 70s slinky to me, which I love that kind of style. Um, and I didn't see that the, around the ring, it's kind of coming off there, which sometimes you buy things from the thrift store and you don't realize that there's something wrong with them. And there's a reason why they're there sometimes, so. But it's not super noticeable and I like the little detail and these are super comfortable for summer. Oh, I can look at the price tag. It was $8.99 for these. Um, and August Silk is a really good brand I have found. I really like their style of things too. So now this is the skirt that I have been like obsessed with. It was about $7.79 and it's this absolute perfection of a plaid or tartan, whatever you want to call it, um, skirt. It's a little bit long for me, but there's nothing that I can't do with a little bit of styling. Um, and the colors are just unreal. Um, this dark chocolate brown, this milk chocolate brown, and the tan, like, stop. I can't. It is so adorable. And I know I can, I can style this for 70s prep, I can style this for modern prep. I can style this for academia type aesthetic. I'm just using those aesthetics as like a term where you can like kind of look up what the style is. Um, because for me, the aesthetics kind of, the whole aesthetic thing kind of helped me realize like what I liked about certain looks, I guess. Um, so that's why I'm using those terms. But um, like, I'm just literally obsessed with this. And the tag... I can't tell if it's vintage, um, but it is, it kind of looks like it. I haven't looked much into it, but, and it's got that paper tag next to it, but love it. Also, don't be afraid to look in sections where, like, it might not actually be your size because this was a size eight, but it fit me. So, like, especially with vintage sizes or vintage clothes, previous, like, decades clothes were a little bit like their sizes were different than our modern day sizes and they tend to be smaller even though they're labeled like a 12 or a 13 or something like that it can equivalent like it can be equivalent to someone who's a size six or eight today don't quote me on those like actual numbers but you get what i mean so like so cute okay this next skirt is another gem that i found in this haul um, it doesn't have a tag, but it is so adorable, especially for that fairy, like, kind of dark, grungy core. Um, 
like it's this velvety soft velvety material it's got this um i don't know if you can see okay this is gonna be cute um where'd it go at the bottom it's got this kind of like mermaid or like this pointed hem where it's um you see the subtle detail of the lace it's like a midi skirt and it this is so perfect for fall so perfect for fall even for summer if you wanted to wear it out i'm gonna maybe even wear this as a strapless dress like belted and it's so adorable it's got the lace on the end oh this was such a good little find um daisy in the six vibes like the 70s ish i'm not usually a wide pants type of girl but i have been extremely into that army green color lately and i wanted to again step outside my comfort zone without spending too much money and try to style looks that are really of what i picture in my mind so i got these like green wide leg um like army style pants they're a little bit oversized so i got that relaxed look and that's really nice in the summer when it's really hot out if you live in a hot climate like me and i just really liked these and i can't wait to style these in a really different way probably in that hippy dippy way that i have been very into i like the y2k aesthetic and like types of clothes however i I don't tend to love them how it looks on me, but I did find these kind of mid to low rise jeans that I really liked. They're old, old navy, you can tell by the tag. Um, and they're this like kind of cargo fit flare pant with this light wash. This is perfect for summer. It's got no um, pockets on the back, so they're super flattering. They're super stretchy. I just, I really liked these and I liked the way they looked, so I got them. It would even go really well with this shirt that I'm wearing. This is also thrifted. Um, but yeah, I just, it was cute. A pair of kitten heels and one of my old, literally middle school Y2K shirts that I'm going to also do a video on because I just can't believe I still have them and they are also so cute and so funny. So I have to like show you guys those um that will be another video as well and so that's i'll probably be styling a lot of those with these because i don't have a lot of low rise types of pants that go with that the last thing i got for bottoms were these cute little flowery shorts these are just to sleep in but i thought they were adorable with the cream color and the floral on them they're like 100% cotton, I believe. Yep, 100% cotton. And they had the like actual up tag on it too. Oh, here it is. It came with it. Um, so 90s, like, I don't know. I think it's 90s, but um, I love when I find new with tags things at the thrift store. It's like the coolest feeling. But yeah, it's cute little sleeping shorts. Now we're going to get into... Um, Oh, also all of those other clothes, unless specified otherwise, are just from my local Savers Thrift Store, which is equivalent to a Goodwill, which is equivalent to a Salvation Army. So most of these things are not from Depop, but some of them are, which I have said. But um, most of these things you can find at your local thrift store, is my point, what I was trying to say. Anyways, this bag is this gorgeous brown suede purse. Um, I'm obsessed. This is the perfect summer hippie bag. Like, are you kidding me? It was a little bit pricey. It was about $20. These thrift store prices are really wild in nowadays, but honestly, this was too good to pass up. I just am so obsessed with this and the fringe and the color of this is like one of my favorite colors to have in an accessory. It matches a lot of the things in my wardrobe already. So I went for it. This is the brand Ecote. I don't know what that brand is. I didn't bother to look it up, but it must be decent if they were charging $20 for this, but it is 100% leather. So that could also be part of the reason. Anyways, so adorable. Again, with the 70s vibes in 
our accessories. Most of the stuff is pretty 70s, to be honest with you. Um, or at least like more like free people-ish, I guess. Um, I just found this sparkly paisley purse. What's crazy is I saw matching like boots to that literally had the same material on it um, at the thrift store like maybe a few weeks prior and they weren't in my size so I didn't get them but I really loved the the pattern and the colors of it and it's so it's crazy that I actually found that something that I liked like that but in a different like accessory which what are the odds you know so um I just thought this was so cute easy to do and it has a lot of colors in it so it will match a lot of things so yeah I liked those. Oh yeah, and this was $3.99, so it was very cheap. This is not an expensive bag by any means, but it's just such a little like pouchy vibe, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now for the belts. I have been coming up on the most insanely beautiful belts, and so now it's like one of the first places I go when I enter the thrift store. Look at this white braided belt, and it's by Talbot's again. I don't know. Talbot's is killing it for me, <laughs> which I'm surprised about. It was only $3.99, but this is such like, again, the New York Hampton summer vibe. And that's what I was going for when I tried this. I tried this on with the um, Abercrombie and Fitch dress and it was perfect together with the linen vibe and the um, braided material of the belt. It was, it was so summer. So I am very happy about that. And I love gold and white together is one of my favorite combinations as well. So soaked I found this belt, hippy dippy as heck, but it is such good material. It's absolutely genuine le leather. The color of this, the tone of it is perfection. It was $4.99 and it's got this brass square buckle, but it fits perfectly. And there were so many of these different types of belts I could not resist. This was like such a good find. It doesn't have like a name on it or anything, which leads me to believe it could be, actually, I don't know where that's leading me to believe. I have no idea, <laughs> but um, I, it's just so perfect, especially with all the other 70s vibes that I've already got going on. This is another belt that I found. It's got very subtle detailing on it, but I also needed a silver belt because I don't have much silver. It's mostly gold in my closet, but you always wanna have both. Um, just to make sure that your belt is matching your accessories because it makes you um, it looks like you are more put together so I needed to have this belt and it was so cute it was um, it was about the same price as the other one maybe a little bit less it's got the silver studs on it it smells like essential oil um, so a real I guess a real hippie type person had this it actually smells really good. I know that's weird, but like, I don't know, whoever had this, like, you're killing it. Um, so good. <laughs> Belt, I love. It was only $2.99. It's a little bit cheap looking, but that's okay. I love a good tortoiseshell uh, pattern. It is just so, tr like, chic to me. And it's got the gold buckle and this really interesting oval shape, which I don't have anything like that. Um, so I just loved that one. And it would go, it just makes, it will just elevate any outfit. And it can go with brown or black because it's got both in the pattern. This one I absolutely love. I'm so excited that I found this for only $1.99. It's got this brassish gold brown, perfect chocolate brown, again, crocodile um, leather. And it is, the brand is Liz Claiborne, which is another brand that I'm surprised that I keep finding at the thrift store that I really like a lot. But this is so perfect for that um, old money like vibes and I have I cannot wait to pair this with some trousers and some linen button downs to give that relaxed feel but also that put togetherness and so this is another one of my favorite finds. Okay, we are rounding out to the end. A couple other amazing chain belts. This so goes it's so amazing like I can't believe I found this at the, the thrift store this one was a little bit more pricey at $6.99 but I mean I don't blame it for being that price because look at it look at the quality it's just amazing and it goes so well with all the other stuff that I have with that more relaxed 
uh, 70s vibe. This one reminded me of my girl Fran Drescher. Also, I think a Chanel one that kind of gave me the inspiration from, but it's this gorgeous gold dangly um, belt, which I think will so go so nice against the black. It might be a little bit too 80s, um, but I don't care. I am obsessed. It's so cute. Um, it's got these Fleur de Lis on there. Um, yeah, I just can't believe I found this. This was also $6.99, probably because it's pretty, pretty heavy with the weight and it's in pretty good condition. Rounding out here with some shoes, I got two of these from Depop and one from the uh, local thrift store, Savers. I'll start with the Savers ones. They're just these very cute, um, black patent croc ones with a silver detail and they are by the brand Rhodes and they were made in Italy which I love seeing that on the shoe for some reason I think that it is better quality because that's been my experience lately and they don't seem to be disintegrating so I got them they were $9.49 cute little kitten heel for summer Okay, I have been looking at these shoes for like so long and I have been obsessing over them and I was going back and forth on whether I should buy them or not, but I found a pair on Depop that were for much cheaper. These retail at about like 170 ish but I got them on Depop for 85 They are a little bit used and they were a little bit like, they weren't like brand new, but they were a little bit, um, I couldn't quite see from the photo on Depop, but... The girl had a lot of positive reviews, so I just kind of went for it. They're a little bit scuffed, but um, they are these Jeffrey Campbell student loafers. Such a vintage vibe, and I've been needing a pair of loafers, and I prefer loafers that have a little bit of a platform. And they're black and gold, and I have a lot of black and gold in my wardrobe, and they fit perfect, perfectly, and they're already a little bit broken in from them wearing them. Um... She said they were only worn like a couple times. So that is like the best way to get shoes in my opinion. Um, and they're so gorgeous and I can't wait to style these. Last but not least, I found these amazing, I'm very much into clogs right now. Um, and I actually have always been because I have Swedish heritage. I am 50% Swedish. So I feel like having ugly clogs is just kind of like a rite of passage when you're a Swede. Um, now these aren't ugly in, in, in my opinion, but um, I think that they're like the wood and the details of this are kind of like very of a particular style. Um, they are these like 2000s beat, beat feet, I'm not sure, but they're actually quite comfortable and they've got this gorgeous wood on the bottom and the, the heel is so cute. Look at the detail on that. And then also look at this little painting on it. These are literally my dream. They are so cute. I, they're a little bit big. These are about $20, $25 I got on Depop, um, which I was surprised about because I thought they would be more, but they are a great addition to what I have in my wardrobe already. I'm so grateful for, for you spending time with me. I know I don't take that for granted at all. You could be doing anything else in the world and you decided to come watch a few minutes about fashion with me and I am very grateful for that. So I'm like awkward at goodbye, so I'm, I'm sorry, but like I really am grateful for each and every view that I get. And if you made it this far, then thank you so much.